Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Marie Garcison and welcome to our course, Methods of Research. And the first topic we're going to tackle today is about identifying key variables and writing a working title. In writing the title of the study, the connection between dependent and independent variables, input, output, stimulus, and response must always be observed. Titles are contemporarily written with style that could catch the attention of readers. So here is an example of a research title. Number one, the role of students' emotional quotient in their academic performance. The independent variable is the emotional quotient, while the dependent variable is the academic performance. Another example of a research title is the implementation of the flexible learning in higher education institutions as perceived by state university students. The input, flexible learning in higher education institutions, response is perception. Now we are examples of research titles in their contemporary format. Highly selective gold catalyzed iron synthesis by A. Stephen K., Hashmi Tanja M. Frost, and J. W. Best. Being the good guy, fatherhood, masculinity, and the organization of work in Silicon Valley by Marian Cooper. All research projects are based on variables. Identifying the key variables or issues that are related to the main topic of your research will help you formulate your research title. So what are variables? When we say variable, these are the measurable characteristics, qualities, traits or attributes of a particular individual, object or situation being studied. A variable is not only something that we measure, but also something that we can manipulate and something we can control for. Now let us proceed to the different types of variable. Number one is independent variable. Second, dependent variable. And number three, control variable. Now let us discuss the types of variables. Number one, independent variable or stimulus. It is the variable that influences other variables. It is presumed or possible cost. Example, degree of studying, low to high. Second is dependent variable or response. The dependent variable is the outcome of the influence of independent variable. It is the presumed results or effect. Example, level of grades of students low to high. Next is control variable. These are the variables that are not changed and kept constant throughout the experiment. It must be held constant, neutralized, balanced, or eliminated, so they will not have a biasing effect on the other variables. Example, physical activities, water consumption, natural environment of the participants. On the figure, we can see the effect of biofertilizer X on plant growth. We can identify what are the independent variables and dependent variables. So from this study, we can say that the independent variable here is the application of fertilizer X in this experiment, while the dependent variable are the following, plant growth, number of leaves, number of roots, etc. in this experiment. Now let us proceed to other examples. Number 1. Age, sex, educational training of nurses affect the extent of patient satisfaction. So we have here the independent variables. Age, sex, and educational training of nurses. 
while the dependent variable is the patient satisfaction. Next example is teaching performance is affected by age, educational attainment, in-service training, length of teaching service. So the independent variables here are the following, age, educational attainment, in-service training, length of teaching service, while the dependent variable is the teaching performance. So in other words, a dependent variable is the factor, characteristic or attribute that is measured. It is the effect, the output, or the consequent that is statistically analyzed. There are types of variables based on the types of data. First is numerical or quantitative data. It's associated with the aspect of measurement, quantity, and extent. And next is categorical data. It is associated with groupings. Now let us proceed to the importance of identifying key variables. The key variables provide focus when writing the introduction section. Next, the key variables are major terms to use when searching for research articles for a literature review. Next, the key variables are terms to be operationally defined if an operational definition of term section is necessary. The key variables provide focus to the method section. After identifying the key variables, you can now formulate a working title. Working title may still change throughout until the end of the conduct of the study. The functions of the title includes the following. First, it identifies the main topic and scope of the study. Second, it attracts readers. Now, here are the guidelines for the title of the study. First, it should be informative. Second, it should be self-explanatory to readers. Third, it should not to be too broad. Neither tells the reader too little. Avoid abbreviations. That's all from now. Thank you and keep safe.